Let's go to our last question uh, for today's show. It's an awesome question that is based on sigma notation. Uh, sigma notation is one of the concepts that we examine. It's absolutely awesome. What is 3.1 asking us? They say to you, prove that the sum of four times three to the power two minus k, where k from k is one up to infinity, is a convergent geometric series. Show all your calculations. So what is the key word in the entire question? The word convergent. What do you know about convergent? You just have to show that the ratio is a number that lies between negative one and one. Okay, how do you do that? Let's start with the expansion. It's four times three to the power two minus, our first k value is a one. Okay, plus four times three to the power two minus, our second k value will be two, and then four times three to the power two, our, first, our third value is going to be three, and this goes on and on until the second coming of Jesus. Okay, so this is gonna be four times three to the power two minus one, which is gonna give us 12. The second term is gonna be two minus two, which is um, a zero. So we can end up with an answer of four, and then the third one is going to be just four divided by three, and this goes on and on. All right, so we just want to find a common ratio. The examiners, by saying show all your workings, they wanna see the expansion, and then they wanna see you working out your R value, which is uh, T2 divided by T1, which is 4 over 12, which comes out as just 1 over 3. 1 over 3 is 0 point something. Uh, that's a number that lies between negative 1 and 1. Therefore, this series does indeed converge. Why does it converge? Well, because your R is between negative 1 and 1. Now, quickly, the last question is asking us to work out the value of P if the sum to infinity starting at P equals to 2 over 9. Now, this is a tricky question, which might not, um, we might not have enough time for this, but we'll see. We'll just share the general idea behind what you need to do. So it's the same thing. Starting at P, the answer should be 2 over 9. So what are they saying? They're saying the answer is 2 over 9 to the sum to infinity. When you start this 4 times 3 to the power 2 minus P, from um, p from k equals to one, it's actually it's k, from k equals to one all the way up to infinity, and they have k here instead of a p. So we all know the drill. The drill is you have to substitute the k value that you have at wherever the exponent lies, and then you have to also try and work out your uh, corresponding terms. So what will happen is our term one is what you get when you put p as one here. Remember the sum to infinity formula is a over one minus r. What do we have? We do have the sum to infinity. It was given to us. It is 2 over 9. What is your a? Your a is what you get when you put p there. So we have 2, uh, sorry, we have 4, okay, multiplied by 3 to the power 2 minus the first number that you will need to substitute is a p. That's how you will get your t1 minus your r value, which is also going to come out as a third. It's the same as the sequence that you were working with at the top. So 2 over 9 is 4 times 3 to the power 2 minus p over 2 over 3 minus, uh, 3 over, it's going to be 2 over 3 at the bottom. So you multiply here by 2 over 3, also multiply here by 2 over 3. So this will cancel that. And then you're going to have 4 over 27 is equal to uh, 4 times 3 to the power 2 minus p. The 4s will cancel. You've got 1 over 3 cubed equals to uh, 3 times 2. Uh, 3 to the power of 2 minus p, so negative 3 is 2 minus p, so p will be equal to 5. 